Hi there. We are looking into the interfacing circuit for interfacing DC loads as well as AC loads with microcontroller. And in our previous video, we have came up to understanding what is or how to interface DC load and how the relay functions and how we can use it to switch on AC loads. Now let's try to see how to actually turn the relay itself on and off using microcontroller. Now let's see. The answer to this question is very simple and actually in front of you. So you cannot directly use microcontroller to turn on relay, but you can definitely use the transistor as DC switch to turn on the relay using microcontroller. So in this case, what we will do is we will simply connect the DC coil or the relay coil as a DC load to transistor and we can make it on and off using the microcontroller output. Let's look at the detailed circuit. So let's say the relay coil voltage is plus 12 volt. Then this is the L1 and L2. Then this is an NPN transistor. And this is ground. This current limited supply here will come from microcontroller. As I am saying microcontroller, it doesn't mean it has to be microcontroller only. It can be Raspberry Pi, it can be any other digital circuit also. So what happens now is the L1 and L2, the relay coil will get magnetized when you give logic 1 to this point. So when you give logic 1 to this point, the transistor will conduct, the relay gets magnetized. Because the relay gets magnetized, the further circuitry of the relay, that is not you know, common, will get connected to normally open. So, if there is any particular circuit connected here, then it will get turned on. So, let us connect a circuit as well. So, let us say this is the circuit. So, lamp for example. And this is the AC supply. So this will turn on as soon as you give logic 1 at this point. So logic 1 will turn on the relay or turn on the lamp, relay and lamp. Now what happens when you give logic 0? When you give logic 0, what will happen? <laughs> It will turn off the transistor, thereby it will turn off the load as well. But there is a very small problem. It is correct that the transistor will turn off, but the relay coil will not turn off immediately. Because of the very nature of inductive coil, it will keep the charges held in it. Whatever the charges have been stored so far they will not be easily washed away or released. So, the relay will keep turned on for some time till the charges are passed on through some kind of leakage. Now, to avoid this problem, what we have to do is we have to connect an external flyback diode. This flyback diode will basically do nothing in the on condition of relay because it is connected in reverse bias to the coil. But what happens is when you turn the transistor off, the relay coil will reverse its polarity because of this inductive nature and this diode will give a small resistance conductive path for those charges to dissipate between coil and diode, coil and diode, coil and diode. The action happens so smooth and so fast that we experience an instant turn off of relay because of this configuration. So whenever you are using transistor to turn on and turn off a relay, you have to make use of a flyback diode. This is transistorized relay switching. You may want to note this down. You may take a screenshot of it. As I am using whiteboard, there is no PPT or there is no such uh, soft record of it. Of course, I will try to export these images and uh, 
include it into the course. So this is how you will use a relay for switching with or relay to power on AC or DC loads, high power loads and the same can be turned on and turned off using a small signal coming from microcontroller. There isn't much into the program. That far I will just focus on the schematics and the technical aspect. The program is you simply have to make it on or off. So it's nothing but an LED blinking kind of program. Depending upon the situation you have in your hand, you will make it on or you will make it on. Lastly, there is one more discussion. When you have more than one relays to use, when you have let's say two relays, three relays, four relays, eight relays to use, in that case, connecting relay using a transistor may not be that uh, simple option, may not be that easier option because it will require you to connect that many resistor, that many diode, that many number of transistors, soldering, cost, PCB complexity, everything will be higher. So, when you have uh, some more number of relays to interface, what we do in that case is we use a driver IC. Let's see what is that driver IC we use. So, I am providing you all this presentation. So, it is clear into it pretty much. So, this is the driver IC that we usually prefer to use. It is called as ULN2803. It is an integrated circuit or IC which has got 8 channels for interfacing. Means the same IC can be used to turn on and off 8 relays at a time with microcontroller. It allows you to interface TTL signals with higher voltage and current loads. On the output side, the ULN2803 is generally rated at 50 volt 500 milliampere, so it can operate small loads directly. Let us see how actually it operates at all. So this is how the internal construction of ULN2803 is and let us see how it functions. It functions exactly like your transistor edge switching circuit except this is where you will connect the second point of your load. Instead of collector you will connect it to the out pin of ULN let us say plus 12 volt goes here and this pin goes to microcontroller. You can have maximum 500 milliampere current flowing through 12 volt through load and pin number 9 has to be externally connected to ground. Okay. So, you can have one load connected at pin number 18 and controlled by pin number 1. Similarly, you can have another load connected to pin number 17 and control it let's say it is operating on plus 9 volt it doesn't matter and then control it using pin number 2 so similarly pin number 1 will control 18 2 to 17 3 to 16 so and so up to pin number 8 controlling to pin number 11 so we have total 8 switching pairs over here which can be directly used to interface relays or any such devices a dc devices with microcontroller there is one more advantageous thing that you might have looking at. I don't know if you noticed it or not. But internally, you can see there is a diode from every pin going to this common terminal called pin number 10. If, let's say, I am connecting all my devices, if all my devices are 12 volt connected, or if I have all 8 relays, then what I can do is, I can connect the pin number 10 to plus 12 volt. It will enable the internal flyback diodes and you are not required to connect those external diodes in this configuration. That will simplify most of the things for you when you are creating a PCB for your project where you want to interface multiple LEDs or multiple sorry relays at a time with relay or at a time with controller. So the same ULN2803 IC can be used to interface 8 relays. How those 8 relays will be? Look at this circuit. This is currently shown for 4 relays only and this is 89C51 controller. Currently we are studying either AVR or peak or arm. It doesn't matter. What you need to do is connect these 8 pins to microcontroller and look at the output schematic. So pin number 18 will control relay 1, 
17 will control 2, 16 will control 3 and 15 will control relay 4. And we still have 4 pins remaining, 14, 13, 12, 11. So in this configuration or in this way, you can connect multiple relays with microcontroller at a time and make it on and off. The clamping diode or the flyback diode is also present internally. So therefore, you don't need to worry about it. In next video, we will try to create a simple socket using transistor as well as ULM and we will see if the relay switches on and off in the simulation or not. I hope everything is uh, clear for you. The data sheet of ULN 2803 as well as uh, the popular transistor that we use uh, BC547 is provided with this course and immediately after the switching circuits are discussed, we will also uh, look into those data sheets, how to read them and how to understand them. Thank you for watching this video guys. Thank you for watching this video.